Welcome to another broadcast of comics and pop culture shorts. Today we're going to discuss porn stars that went mainstream. They used to do adult films but have found success in mainstream movies and TV. Marilyn Taylor known professionally as Marilyn Chambers, was an American pornographic actress, exotic dancer, model, actress, singer and vice presidential candidate. She was known for her 1972 hardcore film debut, Behind the Green Door, and her 1980 pornographic film, Insatiable. Don't be afraid. A poor child. I know exactly how you feel. She ranked at number 6 on the list of top 50 porn stars of all time by AVN, and ranked as one of Playboy's top 100 sex stars of the century in 1999. Although she was primarily known for her adult film work, she made a successful transition to mainstream projects and has been called porn's most famous crossover. Oh, man. Man, it's guy's face. We didn't wait you, did we? Oh, no, no, not at all. We just thought we'd go down and watch the garbage collectors at work. Get a jump on the crowd. Her first mainstream role was the Barbara Streisand vehicle The Owl and the Pussycat in 1970. She's credited as Evelyn Lang in this film. The film follows Doris, a somewhat uneducated actress, model and part-time prostitute who moves in temporarily with her neighbor Felix, an intellectual aspiring writer. <coughs> Rabbit is a 1977 independent body horror film written and directed by David Cronenberg. An international co-production of Canada and the United States, Marilyn Chambers plays a woman who, after being injured in a motorcycle accident and undergoing a surgical operation, develops an orifice under one of her armpits that hides a phallic slash clitoral stinger she uses to feed on people's blood. Maybe you thought you'd seen all of Marilyn Chambers. She starred in the 1983 campy low-budget Angel of Heat. Variety gave the film a negative review, noting poorly executed martial arts sequences, and that the film wanders for the first few reels, with lots of dumb puns, bare breasts and failed gags. I'm not done with you guys yet. Her final mainstream role was in 2008, The Independent Solitaire, which is a story of thievery and the lengths that a group of young criminals will go through in order to do exactly that. When you do an X-rated film and you undress and you do things on screen, how do you feel after the movie is finished and it's out and people are looking at you and men especially, do you feel uncomfortable if you think that they're disrobing you with their eyes? Oh, I love it. Are you kidding? What woman wouldn't love that? Tragically, on April 12, 2009, Chambers was found dead in her home near Santa Clarita, California. Documents found with her body identified her as Marilyn Taylor. She was discovered by her 17-year-old daughter. The L.A. County coroner's autopsy revealed Chambers died of a cerebral hemorrhage caused by an aneurysm related to heart disease. And yeah. the, the films that you did, the adult films, you were underage, it was illegal, yeah. and then you were saved. Tracy Lords, born Nora Louise Kuzma, May 7, 1968, is an American actress and singer. She entered into the adult film industry by using a fake birth certificate to conceal that she was two years under the legal age of 18. Lord starred in adult films and was one of the most sought-after actresses in that industry during her career. When the FBI acted on an anonymous tip that Lord was a minor during her time in the industry, and that pornographers were distributing and selling these illegal images and videotapes, the resulting fallout led to prosecution of those responsible for creating and distributing the tapes. In addition, all but the last of her adult films were banned as child pornography. After spending several months in therapy, Lords decided to concentrate on acting. She enrolled at the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute. After leaving the school, Lords placed an advertisement in The Hollywood Reporter looking for representation. She was contacted by Fred Westheimer, and although the agency declined to officially represent her, he decided to send her out on a few auditions. As a result, she was offered a guest role in an episode of the television series Wise Guy. Her mainstream career was it's now on the move. What you think? What was that? It's not what you expect. In 1988, she had a starring role in the Roger Corman remake of Not of This Earth. From there she did low-budget fare like fast food with Jim Varney and a cheesy sci-fi romp called Shock M Dead. Then came Cry Baby Walker. Yeah. One of her most successful films would be the John Waters film Cry Baby with Johnny Depp. She was also in Raw Nerve, which would be Glenn Ford's last film. Tracy was in the final film that would be rated NC-17 due to violence 1992's intent to kill. Listen to their call. Oui. 
Oui. She went back into John Waters' territory with 1994's Serial Mom. One man has been recruited to play a simulated game. Then she did the sci-fi flick Virtuosity with Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe. Get down there, little man. Oh, that's my heat seeker. Bet it is. Ah! <laughs> She's done many more low-budget and straight-to-video films. One of her most high-profile films are her appearances in the Blade franchise. Although her role is small, it is pivotal. Some of her other high-profile roles include Kevin Smith's Zack and Miri Make a Porno, The Asylum knockoff of Edgar Rice Burroughs' Princess of Mars and Your Name Here, which is based on the life of author Philip K. Dick. Could you say maybe why you feel like you've been able to transcend that, or is it... <laughs> A mystery to you too. Uh, I mean, partly it's a mystery, and yeah. I thought I would be in the industry a long time. Yeah, a long like for me, it was a life. I was always doing something else, so mm -hmm. I always had other interests. It wasn't the one thing that I relied on. Marina Enhances, born March 14, 1988, known professionally as Sasha Gray, is an American actress, model, writer, musician, and former pornographic actress. She transitioned into mainstream films in 2009 on an episode of James Gunn's PG Porn with James Gunn, made a cameo appearance in Dick Rude's 2010 independent film Quit, and starred in the 2009 Canadian low-budget black comedy-slash-horror film Smash Cut with David Hess from Odessa-slash-Sid Filmworks. The Girl from the Naked Eye is a 2012 neo-noir martial arts film directed and written by David Run. It stars Jason Yee, Samantha Streets, Ron Yuan, Dominique Swain, Sasha Gray. This is Sasha. And this is the man, the myth, the legend, Stan Lee. Hi. So nice to meet you, Stan. Oh, you as well. <laughs> and Sasha. Gray did six episodes of the TV series Entourage, an American comedy drama television series that premiered on HBO on July 18, 2004. The series was created and largely written by Doug Ellen and chronicles the acting career of Vincent Chase, a young A-list movie star. Mark Wahlberg and Steven Levinson served as the show's executive producers, and its premise is loosely based on Wahlberg's experiences as an up-and-coming film star. She also did an episode of Hulu's anthology series, Into the Dark, as a DJ. That was our look into porn stars that turned to mainstream acting. What did you think? Do you have a favorite star that went mainstream? Are there other porn stars that went mainstream that we didn't mention? Let me know in the comments below and, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell to stay informed of upcoming shows, and, until next time, this is Andrew in for Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.